Hello and welcome back to Travel in Chinese. I'm your host, Mark Rosewell, better known as Dash Shan. In this section of our series, we've been talking a lot about food. We started off in a Sichuan restaurant, Chuan Cai Guan, where we had dishes like Yu Xiang Rou Si, that's thinly sliced pork in a spicy chili sauce. From there on, we went to have a meal of Peking duck, Beijing Kao Ya. Usually with Peking duck, you also have several other duck dishes like duck liver, Ya Gan, or even duck tongue, Ya She. From there on, we went to talk about snacks, xiao chi. Many people often go out to a night market to have an evening meal, ye xiao. Well, after that, we went back to the beginning and reviewed all of the language that we learned to date. Now we're going to go on to something new. Let's take a look at today's dialogue. Hey, this Wayan 不大不小好随便看看 哎,我怎么觉得这两条的试养还不太一样呢? 您诚心买,给您便宜点,实打实,220块钱一条怎么样?那两条400怎么样?那可不行,我不能赔钱卖呀。那就算了,走吧。走吧。回来回来,卖给你们吧。就算交个朋友,我这可真是赔本赚吆
，雪梅，嗯，你看，这裤子不错，手感好，穿着肯定特舒服。您真识货，这是全麻的，您再看这裤型，穿上显得特苗条。这脚是蓝色的，我不太喜欢。That sounds pretty good, but Xue Mei doesn't like blue pants. When the salesperson suggests another pair, they don't look exactly the same, but the salesperson reassures them. The material is the same, and they're the same style. Xing is the shape, Ku Xing, style of pants. Xue Mei's cousin-in-law doesn't like them. They're too long and a little too fat, too full of a cut. When they find a slimmer pair, they both decide to buy one. That way, they might get a deal on the price. If you really want to buy it, I'll make you a deal. If you're really sincere, I'll give you a discount. 实打实 that's like saying, 货真价实 good authentic product at an honest price. The product and the price are both solid. 实打实这条还行，我劝你也买一条吧。好，我买一条跟你一样的。多少钱一条？您诚心买，给您便宜点，实打实，二百二一条。When they try to bargain the price even lower, the salesperson says, 我不能赔钱卖呀。I can't sell at a loss. In other words, the price you're offering is lower than my cost. Now, some people might consider pay bar zhuan yao he, selling products at a loss, as a form of promotion. We'll talk about that in a moment. 我一次买两条，便宜点吧。那两条四百怎么样？太贵了，一百二十块钱一条怎么样？那可不行，我不能赔钱卖呀。那就算了，走吧，走吧。回来，回来，卖给你们吧，就算交个朋友。我这可真是赔本赚吆喝。雪梅 is very impressed with the bargaining skills of her cousin-in-law. 以后买东西就找你。I'll ask for your help whenever I go shopping in the future. This is a nice compliment and a way of thanking the cousin-in-law for being so helpful. Okay, let's watch that part again. 真是呀！以后买东西就找你。得意的吧 ？In today's lesson, we came across a lot of slang or colloquial expressions. For example, 赔本赚吆喝 selling products at a loss as a form of promotion. 本 refers to 资本 capital or goods. 吆喝 is the way hawkers traditionally call out their wares, promoting their product or service by calling out. Like the way people at a baseball game might call out peanuts, popcorn. Yaohe is basically a form of advertising. By pay ben zhuan yaohe, you're losing money, but you're gaining in advertising. Now in the Beijing dialect, we'd say pay ber zhuan yaohe. Note that ber has the r ending, and yaohe is pronounced yaohe, not yaohe. This would be the Beijing slang. Standard Mandarin Chinese, the national language, is based on the Beijing dialect. But there is a slight distinction between the two. Some colloquial expressions in Beijing cannot be considered standard Mandarin. For example, 盖了帽了 This literally means put the cover on the hat. In other words, you've topped off the top layer. This expression means the best there is. In standard Mandarin Chinese, 盖帽 means to block a shot in basketball. You put a lid on it. 盖帽 You block the shot. Now, beginners shouldn't be too worried about the difference between Beijing dialect and standard Mandarin. There really is no real language barrier between the two. It's just fun to pick up some of the local expressions if you're living in Beijing for any length of time. Let's take a moment to look at a specific language point that came up in today's dialogue. 显得 to appear or to look some way. For example, 下雨以后，树叶显得更绿了 After it rains, the leaves look even greener. 下雨以后，树叶显得更绿了 Here's another example. 
让她显得很年轻。This article of clothing makes her look very young. 这件衣服让她显得很年轻。Okay, let's go back and look at the dialogue and see how they used 显得。你好，随便看看。雪梅，嗯，你看，这裤子不错，手感好，穿着肯定特舒服。您真识货，这是全麻的。您再看这裤型，穿上显得特苗条。Let's look at a few grammatical patterns that came up in today's lesson and do some substitution. 好呢 ，something 好呢。This is a way of asking a question like, "What would be best? What do you think? What would be better?" For example, 这儿有这么多家餐馆，去哪家好呢 ？There's so many restaurants here. Which one would be best? 这儿有这么多家餐馆，去哪家好呢？ Now in Beijing, it might be pronounced differently. For instance, in Beijing, we often add the r ending, 餐馆 instead of 餐馆 and instead of saying 哪家 in Beijing, they would commonly say 哪一家 It means the same thing. Okay, let's try some substitutions now with this 好呢 pattern. 是先去杭州好呢，还是先去苏州好呢？是先去杭州好呢，还是先去苏州好呢？这么多家酒吧，我们去哪一家好呢？这么多家酒吧，我们去哪一家好呢 ？Here's another useful pattern: 不 A 不 B. A and B are usually opposites, so this means it's neither this nor that, something in the middle, perhaps. For example, 这件衣服不大不小，正合适。This piece of clothing is neither too big nor too small; it's just right. 这件衣服不大不小，正合适。Okay, let's now do some substitutions with this 不 A 不 B pattern. 这条裤子不长不短，穿着正好。这条裤子不长不短，穿着正好。今天的天气不冷不热，非常适合出去旅游。今天的天气不冷不热，非常适合出去旅游。我买两个便宜点吧。If I buy two, can you make it a little cheaper? You might hear the salesperson say. 我不能赔钱卖 ，I can't sell it at a loss. In which case, you can always just threaten to walk away. 那就算了吧 ，then forget about it, and see if the salesperson changes their mind. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you in the next lesson. 再见。